Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you another quick tip how to improve your Adobe Premiere Pro workflow and today we're going to be talking about bins and let's go. So if you go ahead and open up any project in Adobe Premiere and like you see here I have a couple bins when I'm doing this project I have one bin of footage and one bin of assets and if you double click like a normal browser it actually automatically opens it up in another tab. And if you have a project that has multiple bins and every time you open one up, it's gonna create like hundreds of different tabs. It will be really hard to find them because you're gonna have to scroll them a lot. And plus you have some other windows here like FX, FX controls. And like you see, I already have two bins, but if I would have like 10 bins, that would be pretty a lot. But the good thing is it can be easily changed. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show it to you right now. You just gotta go to the edit menu go to preferences and then go to general and here's where all these settings are you just look at the bins and when you look at the double click see it says open in a new window I prefer that it opens up in place instead of a new window and with control I like to open up in a new tab and with alt in a new window because when you open up in a new window it's usually when you have multiple monitors and you want to create a new window so you can kind of keep it on the separate monitor but I only use one monitor setup right now, so I don't really need extra windows every time I open up a new bin. So let's go ahead and save this and try it out right now. Yes! I think you guys like it as much as I do because everybody's used to working in regular file, file explorer and this is really how it's supposed to work. I'm not sure why Adobe Premiere actually decided to do it in a separate tab because why do we need to create another bicycle? So, but. I guess there was some kind of idea behind it, but I don't know which one. So let's go ahead and try it with the control. So right now I'm going to hold control and double click. There we go. It created a new panel and it opened up a new tab. Basically just created a new tab. And in case you want to keep it open, this is how you create it. Let's close it again. Now you only have one tab of project. And same thing with here. If you, if you double click with control, it opens up a new tab. You can close it and then if you hold alt you double click on it and it creates a new window this is why you want to have a new window if you take it to a different monitor which will really work good if you have a multiple monitor setup so there you have it guys i hope it's going to help you to improve your workflow and make it easy to work in adobe premiere if you like this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel for more interesting and helpful adobe premiere videos Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos and stay tuned. I'm going to have an Adobe Premiere course coming out soon. So make sure to check it out in the description. If it's already out, you're going to see it in the description. If it's not there yet, well, then you got to wait a little bit. Okay, thanks guys very much for your support and I hope to see you soon. Have a nice day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.